Hi, this is Tyler from Rentacoop, and here are some tips and tricks for installing your new grounding rod. You can see that you can use the wire that comes with the Rentacoop energizers or whatever energizer you have purchased, and you can also use stripped insulated wire. This grounding rod comes with two washers and a wing nut, and you want to put your wire that goes to your negative terminal in between the washers and tighten the wing nut. Now you want to be sure your energizer is off before you start installing the grounding rod and you'll hook the wire from the grounding rod to the negative terminal on the energizer. You can also hook up two grounding rods together like you see me doing here and it's the same concept. You put the wires in between the washers and tighten the wing nut to get as much contact as possible. Now in order to get the grounding rod into the ground we recommend a three pound sledgehammer like you can see me using here. And you want the grounding rod to stick out of the ground four to six inches when you're finished. Now our RAC60 model only requires one grounding rod. And you can see two grounding rods connected together here for our RAC200 model. You might need a second grounding rod if your unit has more than two joules and you are connecting it to multiple fences. Okay. That's everything you need to know about this grounding rod, and if you purchase it, we hope it works out well for you. Thanks so much.